Okay, we've prepared a second board, same process. We scarred the, the surface, we cleaned it with alcohol. I've already got it taped on there. On this one, I've got a, there's a, a margin of about a quarter inch there at the top, and then I've used clear tape, and I've been careful not to overlap the clear tape with the traces, because in this instance, we're gonna use a laminator. This is a GBC H220. This was, uh, is one of the preferred laminators for this purpose because the drive gears inside, you can take them off and switch them and it runs a lot slower. It runs at a more appropriate speed for the PCB. Now, one trip through it isn't quite enough, but I put it on five mil. We let it preheat and it's ready. And so I'm gonna stick it in. It's gonna suck it in the front. If you've ever seen a heat laminator, well, this is a heat laminator. Laminator it doesn't work any different. The piece where I taped it, I put it in first. Just like when you laminate a pouch, they have that seam that's already sealed, and that's supposed to go in first. That's what we're doing here. When it stops moving out the back, pick it up. I'm holding it by the sides. It's really not too hot. I will tell you that the copper gets warm. You don't want to grab it flat, but if you grab it by the edges, you're okay. You may notice I've got a blue paper towel too, so if I fumble or that sort of thing, I'm not, not gonna burn my fingers. Keep an eye on the back of it. I'll tilt it forward this time as it comes out the back, and you can see it coming out the back there. Grab it. We don't wanna give it time to cool off. We wanna get it right back in there so it continues to press. That's pass number three, and it's through. It's pass number four. Advantage of this is you get that roller pressure that's nice and even all the way across. You get the heating that's nice and even. Um, so there's no no having to move your iron. There's very very low risk of the traces moving. This model I don't believe is available anymore. I actually bought it toward the, towards the end of its cell life. Uh, but they probably got something that's similar. I would do searches online for PCB toner transfer laminator and look for recommendations. This is pass number five, I believe. It's definitely warm. Not bad on the sides though. When in doubt, wear an of glove. I own a, a pair of of gloves uh, for a couple of different purposes, but they work because they have the five fingers. They work really well. There's some knockoff ones, uh, Bed Bath and Beyond sales. If you've got a Bed Bath and Beyond local, this is the seventh time. It's heated pretty well. I believe that the toner transfer is probably complete. Uh, I've never checked for what the minimum number of passes to get a good transfer is. I ran one five passes the other day and it looked okay, but um, it's, not gonna, it's not gonna hurt to run it a couple of extra. So we don't wanna move that until it's cooled because that toner is still plastic and we want it to cool off. So we're gonna set it on the counter, we're gonna leave it there, and I'm gonna turn off our laminator.